Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would do a get ready with me answering all of your assumptions about me. I asked on my Instagram page a few weeks ago, just any assumptions that you guys have about me and I got quite a few. So thank you so much to all who participated in that and gave me an assumption about myself. I answered all of them, the good, the bad, the ugly, the mean, I'm just kidding. You guys were actually really, really nice to me. So thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, if you want to see how I made this look right here, answering all your juicy assumptions about me, then let's go ahead and get started. So because this video is pretty much all about the assumptions you guys have on me, I'm not going to really talk about the products or really show what I'm using to get ready with but I will have all of it linked down in the description for you guys below in case you are curious or wondering what I am using. We're going to start off with eyes like we normally do. And my first assumption is I kind of got this multiple times and I'm just going to kind of wrap it all up into one, but that I'm a perfectionist, that I am very organized. I don't like clutter. I make lists. I'm tidy, type A personality. All that kind of thing which is funny you mentioned that because I have a notebook here that I use for all my YouTube videos of like all my ideas and all the products I used and all of that so I guess to that I will say kind of I tend to be like that with certain aspects of my life clutter doesn't really bother me too much per se I mean eventually it does and eventually like I have to clean up and I have to just get rid of things off of my desk at work and our countertop is always like the landing place for all of our just mail and things we bought and receipts and all sorts of stuff that are like clutter you know what I mean that doesn't bother me at first, but then eventually does. I try to be organized. I am not as organized as I would like to be. As far as making lists and stuff, I am like that and like this notebook I have, but it's mainly because I just have such a bad memory. If I did not write down every single video idea I did or product I used in that video, I wouldn't remember what I used and then I wouldn't know what to link for you. I wouldn't know what I've already filmed. I mean, I guess I could just go back on YouTube and look at what I've already filmed and stuff, but like even I schedule out my videos right now. So I have like them scheduled for the next couple weeks. And even that I'm like, wait, when did I schedule this video to go up? When is that one going up? So like, I just have a really bad memory. So I have to, I have to kind of be like that. But yeah, I guess yes and no. I wouldn't say I'm really type A personality where like it bothers me or like I freak out if I'm like not tidy or anything like that. But um, I'm definitely a little more go with the flow with that kind of stuff. I'm not a perfectionist at all, except for when it comes to makeup. I feel like with makeup, I'm a perfectionist. If it doesn't look how I want it to look, oh, it drives me crazy. Like if I have a vision in my mind of something that I you know, want to create and then I go to make it and it doesn't turn out the way I want it to, that kind of bothers me. So I guess in makeup, I'm a perfectionist, but other aspects of my life, I wouldn't say that I am. Another assumption that I got pretty often was about my new kitty cat named Butterscotch. If you do not follow me on Instagram, then you don't know that my husband and I found a three week old kitty cat in our basement underground window thing. I don't know what they're called. And we found him and we rescued him and we saved him and we decided to keep him. He was three weeks when we found him and we found him about five weeks ago. So he's like two months now. Um, and he's the cutest thing. I'll insert a picture for you guys to see because he's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I got a lot of assumptions about him that like I was a cat person or that I was a dog person before we found him. I honestly was never a pet person. We had a dog. She passed away when I was eight. And then other than that, my parents never got another animal or a pet. And then my sister and her husband have a dog that I'm like obsessed with. And then Mike and I always talked about getting a pet eventually but we just had it we found butterscotch and like i just fell in love with him he's completely stolen my heart i'm obsessed with him i love him so so much he's yeah i really wasn't a cat person before him and i really honestly wouldn't consider myself a cat person now i'm obsessed with him but i wouldn't say that i'm like obsessed with all cats if that makes sense i think eventually we might try to get a dog too i don't know 
we haven't really discussed that because he's he's a little he's a little stinker and he keeps us busy right now we are content with just him because yeah he's, he was a lot of work especially when we first got him he was like i said three weeks old we had to bottle feed him we had to completely teach him everything how to eat how to use the litter box all of that he's past that now thank goodness gracious because that was a interesting time <laughs> yeah i'm um i'm pretty obsessed with him <laughs> i was just talking about him that's why <gasps> look who we have little baby butterscotch he's the cutest thing ever i'm obsessed but he's a handful and he's itching to run around so i'm gonna give him back to mike <laughs> another assumption said that i get carded when i go out I wish. Um, I used to. Like, I got carded way after my 21st birthday. But I'm 27 now. I feel like I'm past the age of getting carded. And my husband has, like, a beard. And he's 29. And he, like, looks like he's in his 20s. And so do I. You know what I mean? So, sadly, I don't get carded. Every once in a while, I do. But, yeah, not anymore. And then another one was that I'll be the coolest aunt ever. Duh, of course. Um, Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you really should you get a lot of information about me on there but my sister is pregnant and she's due in september so she will be having a little baby boy here soon and i cannot wait so yeah i'm about to have i have a niece already and i'm about to have a nephew and i really am so excited though my sister and i we are 50 percent polish so i'm actually going to be called chuchi which means uh aunt and polish and so yeah i'll be chuchi emmy to this cutie little boy that's going to be born in like a month or so it's crazy oh my gosh i cannot wait for him to be here but yeah for sure gonna be the coolest aunt <laughs> another one is that i have siblings and that they like makeup too so i do have one sister and actually i mean she wears makeup but she is definitely not into it like i am which is so funny neither really is my mom so i'm not really sure where i got my love of makeup from um, I guess just like my friends growing up and then watching YouTube channels. I mean, I started watching Carly Bible years ago and I just always loved her and her makeup and all that. And I just really um, got into it after that. Another one is that I once worked at Ulta or Sephora. You know, surprisingly, no, I haven't. You think because I love makeup so much that I would, that would have been one of my jobs before in the past. But uh, no, I haven't had really that many jobs. I worked at an amusement park when I was 16. And then I worked at a retail shop at our local outlet mall. And then worked as a bank teller for a while while I was in college. I nannied for a little bit also while I was in college and during the summers and stuff. And then teaching. So that's really, those are not that you ask, but those were my jobs throughout my teen years, early 20s, um, from 16 to now 27. The next couple assumptions I'm just going to kind of group together, and it is that I'm very outgoing, I'm confident, and I get along with most people. I kind of agree with that. I definitely can be shy, mainly around people my age, which is funny. And I definitely would say I'm a little bit outgoing, like I can really strike up a conversation with anyone. I really can get along with most people at a surface level. Um, as far as like being close friends with people i have my like little close-knit group of friends that i have been friends with forever and that's kind of like the extent of my friend group as far as being confident i'm not gonna lie i definitely have struggled with this in the past i'm about to get real deep i have always kind of had like body issues i mean what honestly what girl hasn't but i am not a twig i'll never be a twig i have boobs and thighs and a butt i got i got some curves going on i got a little junk in the trunk you know what i mean so i've always struggled with like my weight and stuff like that i've talked about that on my instagram page a little bit too in the past i would say i'm confident in some things i'm confident that i think i'm a good wife i think i'm a good friend daughter sister all of that i'm confident in my makeup skills i think i'm good at makeup um i'm confident in being i feel like i'm a good person if that makes sense but yeah there are definitely things that i am not confident about which stinks i'm trying to work on it i'm trying to like you know be healthy and eat better and I, I'm, I'm trying to work on it. i'm trying to accept my flaws the fact that i will never be a stick it's fine emily like it's fine 
curves are sexy curves are beautiful i just have to embrace them and you know learn to love them and my husband thinks i'm beautiful like i you know what i mean i shouldn't it's just hard you know how when you're on instagram and you're just scrolling and you see all these like beautiful people and it's hard to not get caught up in that but you really just have to remind yourself first of all half those people don't even look like the instagram pictures they're putting up they edit the crap out of them so you, I just have to like keep that mindset and reminding myself like you are beautiful the way you are, be confident in who you are and how you look and all of that. So, um, okay, now that I put like a pound of bronzer on, let's go to another assumptions. <laughs> One that I saw is that I'm very sweet and I do not swear very much. So thank you for thinking that I am sweet. I unfortunately do cuss a lot. I feel like in my personal life around my friends my family and mike but i just kind of chose to not really do that on my instagram page very often i do every once in a while on my stories or really here on youtube and that's mainly because how do i explain this as a teacher i feel like society kind of holds us to a higher standard almost and I would just be mortified and embarrassed and sad if for some reason one of my older students, you know, stumbled across a my Instagram account or this YouTube page and saw like, oh my gosh, there's my former teacher. And then I'm up here like throwing F-bombs and dropping F-bombs and cuss words every two seconds. You know what I mean? Like I taught sixth grade for two years and those kids are now, that was like five years ago. So those kids are now like what, sophomores, juniors in high school? So they could very well, you know, run across my Instagram page or my YouTube channel at some point. And I just would never want them to be like, there's my former teacher cussing up a storm. You know what I mean? I know that might be silly and some people might not really get that. Um, especially since I, I mean, I do cuss in real life, but yeah, I just don't think that that's ever something that I would want to put online for everyone to see. I got distracted and did my blush before my highlight, which I normally don't do that, but it's okay. Um, the next one is that I am the mom of my friend group. Actually, funny thing is I'm the last one of my friends to really become a mom. Almost all my other ones are moms now in real life and have little cute little babies, which is funny. Um, I would definitely say I feel like when we were younger in our early 20s, I was probably the mom of the group. But that's mainly because like I just don't like to feel unprepared. I grew up with a mom that always had to, you know, like know the details of the plan, where I was going, who I was going with, what time I was going to be home, all of that. So I think being raised to have to ask those questions of like, well, what's the plans has made me that type of person where I have to know what's going on. And I usually was the DD when we were younger. I mean, now we're not really going out a because corona and b because they're all moms now it was really the dd but that was mainly because i just don't like the feeling of being drunk i just don't like that feeling so i don't get drunk very often you know what i mean like every once in a while i let loose and like have a good time and but that's very rare um just because i don't like that feeling so i would say before i was the mom of the group but now like we're all just moms together <laughs> the next assumption you guys had about me is that I don't get angry very easily. Yes and no. I feel like there are certain things that just really make me mad. If you're being a bad person, if you're being rude to someone, I'm going to get angry. If you are not driving the way that I think that you should be driving, I'm going to get angry. Just drive the speed limit. It's not that hard. Um, or like when things are supposed to work. And they don't like if my iPhone for some reason or my computer for some reason reason is messing up and it's supposed to be working and it's not that I feel like I get really angry about. But other things like in life in general, I feel like I try to be cool as a cucumber. I try to be calm. I try to not let things ruffle my feathers very much, which I feel like Mike has definitely helped me with that and like calmed me down a little bit because he is so chill and even keel and he does not get upset very easily at all so i feel like he's rubbed off on me our last like three and a half almost four years of being together i, I wish i didn't get as angry about silly things as i do but i also feel like i'm pretty 
I calm down very easily. If for some reason my I do get upset about something, I feel like it doesn't take me very long or very much to get over it. So it's not like I'm sitting there like stewing all day long about something. You know, I feel like everyone can probably work on that. That's probably a issue for most people. Oh, those brows are rough. Okay, I'm gonna go try to fix those. Speaking of my husband, Mike, another assumption that I had was that Mike and I never fight. Again, that's yes and no. Fighting in the sense that you see in like movies or unhealthy relationships where you're yelling at each other, calling each other names, being disrespectful. No, we never do that. We never really raise our voices at each other. We don't ever call each other names. We have a mutual respect for each other, which is what you're supposed to have for your significant other. Now, does that mean that we don't get annoyed with each other every once in a while? Of course not, we're human and we're not perfect. And we've been stuck in this house together for five months in quarantine. So of course there's been moments, there's moments where we, you know, get annoyed with each other or snap at each other. But I feel like we're really, really good about kind of calling the other person out in a nice, again, respectful way and being like, hey, I didn't like that you said that to me or how you said it, maybe next time say it differently, change your tone, you know what I mean? But not in like a way that's snapping again at the person, like snapping back, like, well, you snapped at me, so I'm gonna snap back at you. But really, honestly, we get along really well. There's not many things that we even, you know, snap at each other about. I've had like two boyfriends before, Mike, like long-term serious, serious boyfriends. They were in like high school and college, so they weren't like too, too serious. And like, we just fought all the time. And I remember when Mike and I first started dating, we were together for a couple months and I remember asking him like, are we okay? We don't ever fight. Like, is that normal? And he was like, yeah, that's a good thing. That's how your relationships should be. So yeah, we do fight, but it's not anything too, too crazy. And we're definitely not mean to each other. Another one I got is that I like to cook. I wouldn't say I dislike cooking, but I have to like follow a recipe. I can't just think of something off the top of my head. And actually out of the two of us, Mike does most of the cooking. I help him. Oh my gosh. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about any of the products I'm using, but I picked up this mini Fenty What It Do Mist. That was my first time using it. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that is amazing. That mister is so nice. I foresee a full size of this in my future very soon. My very last assumption is that I don't like to spend more than $30 on one single makeup or skincare item. I wish that was the truth. I guess it kind of is because I don't all like to, but I do it. I mean, I, I love makeup and I love skincare. Especially skincare, you're like investing in your future when you're spending money on skincare because your skin and how you take care of it now in your, well, I don't know how old you are when you're watching this, but I assume most of you guys watching are around my age and you're in your 20s, maybe early 30s, and you, you really have to start taking care of it now. I wish I would have started sooner. I mean, I started wearing SPF every single day and really taking skincare seriously when I started my Instagram page about two years ago. So I was like 24, 25, and I wish I would have started sooner. I will drop cash on skincare and makeup. I wish I was not like that. I wish I was more of a cheapo, but I just, I just love it. And that was it, you guys. That was my get ready, answering all of your assumptions about me. I hope you like the look that I made as I was getting ready for you guys. Like I said, I know I wasn't really mentioning or talking about any of the products, but I will have everything linked down below for you. I hope that this was fun for you to watch and I didn't just ramble too, too much or give too much information. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.